know it's an exciting day when a package shows up on the porch. Shout out to the Bronco. And today, especially when it's a big package like this, this is going to be the new tires for the Harley front and back, kind of a retro style tire. Can't wait to get these on. We'll get this over to my tire guy in the shop. Also for a carb rebuild um, for Monday. So let's get these loaded up. All right, so another mod we're gonna make to this bike is by putting a new exhaust on. Now this exhaust sounds okay, but then it's kind of rusted and hidden at the back. And I don't really like this crossbar that it has, and these new pipes I have are drag pipes, uh, and they're long drag pipe, and they have a pretty cool, very loud sound. So before we do a comparison for sound, let's do a before and after, and I'll show you what the pipe looks like. Here's what the new exhaust pipes look like. Now, I can already hear some people in the comment section complaining about why would I change these for those, but it's personal preference, you do you, I'll do me. Let's get a before and after at how these pipes sound. These pipes sound good. Keep in mind, we're in a garage. It's gonna sound a lot louder in here than it will out on the road, but here we go. sounds it's just a preference and these do have a lot of pitting and that crossbar like I said I feel like visually just gets in the way of the motor so we're gonna pull them off put these new uh, drag pipes on potentially pipe wrap them I could go either way on it I like the pipe wrap look it might protect your ankle or your leg if you bump that raw metal as opposed to the wrap does it add power I don't think so it's kind of a look and I really like I'm kind of an aesthetics guy I kind of like the look of it we'll see I'm gonna take it for a little ride and enjoy it while we got some beautiful blue skies and sunshine. Then come back and pull this old exhaust off this evening, afternoon, and throw the new one on. So through the magic of video, we've gone ahead and done some things where we've loosened some bolts, got this old exhaust ready to come off. I had to cut a bracket that was beneath uh, the brake lever here, but let's see. We disconnected the oh, whole, well, except for one bolt there. Anytime you take off a bolt that hasn't been off in 30 years, expect a fight. That's the old exhaust. Get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get the brackets off the top, attach them to the new pipes, and get the new pipes installed. All right, here's the first pipe. We're gonna set it back up. We use the clip. And this, I don't know if you want to call it a washer, from the last, from the old exhaust, that did not come with the new pipes. We're gonna mount this up right now. And pipe number two. installed and attached back at the bracket so they're sturdy. Let's go ahead and start the bike up so we can get a comparison of the old pipe to the new pipe sound. All 
All right, well, as we wrap up this video, what you saw us do was take off the old exhaust, put the new exhaust on, and in the process of putting on the new exhaust, I had a sawzall and I was cutting a bracket off and I poked an oil line, uh, which created an oil leak. And so today I had to go down to the auto store and I got about a 16 inch uh, piece of half inch, three quarter inch tubing and, and had to rerun the line. It took me a couple hours, it was a mess, it was nasty. But finally we're done. We're gonna get this oil running through the system and get out there and enjoy some sunshine uh, with this new, really loud exhaust. is a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, drop us a comment. We look forward to bringing you more content kind of around this Sportster coming soon. Maybe some pipe wrap, maybe forward controls. Who knows? Maybe a little road trip. Let me know in the comments below what we should do in the next video. Thanks for watching.